and welcome to my channel. My name is Mandip Gain. This is a new channel. I will be talking about vegan and cruelty free products and then also a little bit about eco friendly products as well. So, uh, just a quick disclaimer I am not a doctor nor a nutritionist. So, if you do want to transition into a vegan diet, I always recommend everybody to go and make a doctor's appointment and discuss it with your doctor and then you'll find out whether it's good for you or not. It's entirely up to you. I'm also not a trained professional makeup artist. As you'll see in my upcoming videos, you're like, wow, she really does not know how to do makeup, does she? But as you can see, I put a bit of makeup on today, made a little bit of an effort and you know what? I did not do a bad job. Well, I think personally I did not do a bad job. I actually like you know, messing around with makeup, I just find it fun and interesting to do. So yes, and I really hope you guys enjoy this video as much as I enjoy making them. Because, you know, this is my fun time, my mummy me time. My, you know, time for me to just chill, take a nice deep breath and just relax. And not have to hear mummy, 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 mummy every five seconds. Trust me, when you have kids, young kids, all you hear is that. I love them to bits, by the way. You know what I mean? I do love my kids more than anything in the world. But sometimes you just need just a little bit of a break. So let's get on with it. This is the first thing I use is I get the kids ready, get them dressed, take them downstairs, give them the breakfast, get the kids all sorted out first. And then my husband will be like, okay, you know, why don't you pop upstairs, you know, get out your pajamas and get ready. So I'm like, okay, I'll get ready. Run upstairs, literally like running up the stairs, and I just get changed. Well, I don't get changed. I have a shower first, and I'm in and out of the showers quicker, quicker than 10 minutes. So I quickly have a shower, and whilst I'm having a quick shower, I use a simple facial cleanse. I use this facial wash, and it just it's very simple. It's 100% soap free. So I splash a bit of water on my face, and then sort of rub it in for a good 20 seconds and then there you go get out the shower cream your whole body you know do your normal skincare routine for your skin because you know i've got eczema prone skin so i have to be very you know mindful of what creams i use so yeah just cream my whole body get out of the shower and then when i i just put a bit of moisture on my face moisturizer just any sort of like you know sensitive moisturizer on my face and then there you go, job's done. When I do put on makeup, which is very rare, I hardly ever put on any makeup these days. Because, you know, we're not going out much, are we? We're not really doing much. But I did make an effort for today, as you can see. I, I did make a little bit more of an effort. So, this is the first thing I use. And this is from Primark. And it's a glowing priming serum. All of these products are not sponsored, by the way. These are all paid for by myself. So I use this Glowing Primer Serum. I absolutely love this. It makes your skin have this sort of like um, a goldy color sort of thing. It's really nice and it goes on and it glides on perfect. It's, it's really nice and smooth. And not only is it really good the product, it's cheap and affordable. Primark stuff are amazing. Foundations I use. This is one of two foundations I use. I mainly use this foundation. I'm not sure why. I, I just feel myself gravitating towards this foundation. Born This Way foundation. And it's a medium to full coverage. This is just brilliant. It helps me cover up my spots. Talking about spots, I did end up getting spots last, last year, the beginning of last year, like around March time, I started getting spots. I was like, what is going on with my skin? What, where's all these spots coming from? I had them all here on my jawline, all here underneath my neck, all here on my forehead. They were big, big, painful spots. They were not like normal spots. They were just really, really painful ones. I was like, why does it hurt so much? I was like, I was like anytime I even touched it a little bit, it was too painful. So I was watching so many videos on how to get rid of them 
nothing worked trust me and nothing worked until i came across this one video i did actually come across this one video and she went just strip it all back strip it all back keep it simple basic and i can't remember who that channel was that was quite some time ago so i can't really remember who she is but she but she did give some really good useful advice so she says strip it back so i stripped it back so all i do is wash my face in the morning with a simple cleanser just cream it normal moisturizer evening double cleanse and a moisturizer and that is it so they are really really like keep it simple as possible and she also said it could be due to hormonal acne especially when you get it on certain areas of your face like around the jawline around there and around there you tend to it's called hormonal acne i'm not really 100 percent sure on that but she did say that so i was like oh okay so that's why i probably have them painful ones so yeah also use derma blend now derma blend they're 100 percent cruelty free also up to 80 percent of them is up oh, it's vegan friendly up to 80 percent is vegan friendly this is a very old bottle as you can see i bought this before it became cruelty free even before i became and transitioned into a vegan lifestyle i didn't really know much about cruelty free products i didn't even know cruelty free products existed so yeah this is why i've kept it i've kept it because it costs a lot of money i don't like to throw things away do you know what I mean? Because if it costs a lot of money, I, I don't like to waste things that cost a lot of money. So I try to, you know, limit the stuff that I have. But if it's expensive, I'm not throwing it away. Even if it is, like, not vegan friendly. Because most likely it's something that I bought, 100% it will be something that I bought prior to being vegan. So yeah, I'm not, I'm not being wasteful when it comes to that. So yeah, all the products will be in the description bar below and I really hope you guys enjoy this video as much as I enjoy making them. Please leave a comment below on what foundations, vegan friendly, cruelty free foundations you guys use. And please hit that subscribe button and hit that like button as well. Thank you very much for taking your time and watching this. Bye! <laughs>